God bless everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, just another update regarding Hillsong and Brian Houston and the news has just been announced that um, Brian Houston has in fact now resigned from Hillsong Church. He had previously stepped aside and um, hadn't sort of cut ties. He, he was stepping down, stepping away, I think I previously reported, um, to allow his um himself to focus on his court case and as the news came out four four or five days ago there were allegations from some um some women within the church with various allegations of misconduct and um following on from that it's yeah it's been announced now that Brian Houston has in fact resigned from the church. So it says here um he's resigned. From the Hillsong Church, amid allegations the global pastor mistreated two women ahead of a trial over charges he hid his father's alleged child abuse. We would like to advise you that Pastor Brian Houston has resigned as global senior pastor of Hillsong Church and the board has accepted his resignation. The global board said in a statement on Wednesday. So, it says, you know, we understand there will be much emotion at this and we all share these feelings. Irrespective of, of the circumstances around this, we can all agree that Brian and his wife Bobby have served God faithfully over many decades and that their ministry has resulted in millions of people across the world being impacted by the power, grace and love of Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I don't know if, if I agree with that. I mean, being impacted isn't the same as being saved. Uh, you know, there's a a very vast difference and um that being impacted doesn't necessarily mean it's a good impact i mean the the lifestyle of brian houston and some of those other pastors does not fit with the bible um and if that is their influence on naive and young christians and then that's not a good impact so not not quite sure whether I agree with that statement there. The article then says, the, the resignation follows an apology issued by the church on Friday over allegations of Mr. Houston's conduct towards women. Um, it goes on, the bit I was looking for is, yeah, an investigation launched by the Global Board found Mr. Houston had breached the Hillsong Pastors Code of Conduct. And I just think... Um... Why does a church need a code of conduct when it's in the Bible? Our code of conduct is the Bible. Uh, the likes of Brian Houston preach and teach the Bible. Well, they're supposed to. I mean, that's the calling every day to preach and teach the Bible, to share the gospel. And if they believed it, and if they observed it as the true and genuine word of God, then they wouldn't need a code of conduct. When I read that, because they, they talked about, you know, the church saying, um, oh, Brian Houston has breached the code of conduct a couple of days ago, and my immediate thought was, your church needs a code of conduct. Are you in the right church? Like, that sounds like a church that's run by a board. and I mean, Hillsong is run by a board. Not run by God, you know. <laughs> so, anyway, um, the rest of the article is information that we already know. But I think you know, it is a um, the the end of a very bad chapter for Hillsong, very dark chapter. And I I just sincerely pray that it is the start of a new chapter for for those in that church that they get out. And they find a church that actually does teach and preach the genuine word of God, not just as words on a page, but as life, as, you know, God's law, God's, God's way, God's wants for our lives. So, anyway, it's a pretty serious update. Um, 
we just continue, as I said, continue to pray for Brian Houston, for his wife Bobby, who will no doubt be feeling genuinely devastated by the allegations that have come to light in the last week, and um, and all that goes with that. Uh, pray for the church. Pray for, pray for the the pastors. And um, I'll see you on the next video.